What's going on guys, it's Poxy back with another Skyrim Special Edition modding guide. In this video, I'll be showing you how to install ENB Series version 0.309, and this is the first version for the Special Edition. I'll also be showing you how to install an ENB only preset. What I mean by that is this does not require any reshade files. I will make another video on showing you how to install a reshade preset, but that is for another time. And I'm showing you right now that this is the only available ENB only preset, these other three do require reshades, so that is why I decided to go with the Candy Eye preset. So anyways, the links to both of these will be down in the description below, and we're going to start off with installing the EMB series, of course, because it is the binary files. So let's go ahead and press the download arrow on the page, once again, linked in the description, and save it to our downloads. While we're at it, we can go ahead and go to whatever ENB preset we want, go to the files, and download manually. Do not press download with manager, that's not how you install a ENB. Even if it shows the download with manager button, do not press it. Just press download manually and save it to wherever you want. Once again, gonna save it to my downloads folder. We can go ahead and open up our downloads folder. We also wanna go to our Skyrim Special Edition directory, which can be located in your Steam, Steam Apps Common. And if you don't know where that is, it's probably in your local disk. I'll go ahead and show you that right now. So it's most likely on your computer in your local disk, which is your C drive. Go into program files 86, scroll down to Steam, I don't have it here because I have an SSD just for my Steam, so let's go ahead and close that. Once you find your Steam, go into Steam Apps, go into Common, and then Skyrim Special Edition. You can see that it's located near the bottom here. Once you're here in this directory with the two executables, it probably doesn't show the .exe for you, but as long as it says Skyrim SE and Skyrim SE Launcher, you are good to go. We now want to go ahead and extract our ENB series with 7-zip or WinRAR. Press Extract ENB Series and we can open up that folder, go into wrapper version, and we wanna take the D3 D11.dll and the D3 D compiler and drag them over into this directory where the executable files are. We can then go back to our downloads and we want to extract our preset into a folder as well and open that up. And we wanna take all of the files from this one and drag it over and we should be good to go. All right, so you'll know right off the bat whether or not you see the ENB text right at the top left. The reason why you saw that glitching out was because I have reshade enabled as well, so let's go ahead and quickly disable my reshade. And we now have ENB installed. We can see the ENB series version, and it's the beta version, and we can see that it does look a little bit different, so it is indeed working. So let's go ahead and press Shift F12, and that disables it. Let's go ahead and re-enable it, and we can see that it is indeed working. So let's go ahead and load up a random save. Let's go ahead and actually just spawn right on Dragon's Reach. All right, so we can see that it's very saturated. I know there are people out there that like the really bright and vibrant and saturated colors. So that is why this ENB is made. It's called the Candy Eye ENB, so I'm pretty sure that's self-explanatory. We can see that it does have different effects here, and... It actually looks pretty decent. If we disable it, that's what it looks like disabled. It looks really bad when you enable and disable an ENB, especially when you have one that saturates and makes it all very vibrant like this, and then you disable it and it's all muddy and green. This almost makes me feel like I'm playing Fallout 3 right now with the classic green tint, and it's just terrible, and then you pop that on and everything is very colorful. But I'm just glad that we've got ENB series running here, and that Boris worked very fast on getting it out within literally a week. And I'm sure you can expect many more ENBs to come, maybe even some upgrades on the ENB series. I don't know, I don't know how much you can actually do with it, but I guess we'll have to wait to see. Anyways, hopefully this video did help you out. If it did, please don't forget to smack that like button down below and subscribe to join the good fight if you haven't already. It would be super greatly appreciated as always. In addition, check out sugarbomb.com. The link is in the description. So anyways, until next time, this is Epoxy signing off. Today.